Jason here at the DVE store. Uh, today I want to show you something that's uh, very exciting to me and I think uh, some of you will feel the same way when you see this. So I have here on my desk uh, an ATEM 2ME Production Studio 4K and uh, just so you know this system will work with any of the ATEM switchers including the ATEM Television Studio. Now one of the shortcomings with the ATEM uh, is that uh, when it comes to doing the lower thirds and the graphics uh, it's just very limiting and uh, you find out very quickly that it's kind of a pain to deal with and if you have a bunch of graphics you have to use uh, you can have to you know swap them in and out of the the media player uh, to keep things going and uh, anyway it's just kind of a hassle and it's just really not the best way to work you really need some kind of other system to integrate with the ATEM to allow you to do all your graphics, to play your movie clips, uh, to do your lower thirds, whatever other stuff that you, you need to do uh, graphics wise. Uh, it's better to have some other system. And uh, I've discovered this, uh, there's this really neat software package called Mimo Live, which it has some uh, fabulous integration with the ATEM switchers. Now, one of the strengths of the ATEM uh, and why people like them is that you can uh, connect Blackmagic Design cameras and have remote control over uh, focus, iris, and camera coloring. And uh, that's a really neat uh, thing to have. Um, but again, a shortcoming is graphics. And uh, Mimo Live helps you overcome uh, those shortcomings. So I want to show it to you. And I think you're going to like it. So what we have is uh, our ATEM switcher. And then we have the program output of the ATEM. Uh, coming into the Blackmagic Design Ultra Studio Mini Recorder and that's going Thunderbolt into my MacBook Pro. So we just have the program output coming in. Okay, and then uh, into the ATEM we have uh, four camera sources coming in. So that's what we've got. And if you take a look at the uh, Mimo Live interface here, you can see something right here that's called the ATEM controller. So this is uh, one of the layers that's part of this little program that I'm doing. And if you click on uh, this, you can see these options in here uh, that represent the inputs to the ATEM switcher. This will look different depending on which ATEM switcher you're using. But it's really easy to go in here and just uh, pick one of these and type in a shortcut for that particular camera. So then at any time during your program, you can literally just switch uh, between your cameras. Hi over there. And here's another one right here. And then number five is my overhead view. So I just used the keyboard on my MacBook Pro to control the ATEM. So that's what happens through Mimo Live is it talks to uh, the ATEM with this ATEM controller plugin and uh, you're able to do all your switching uh, right from your MacBook Pro. So you might say, well, I can do all that with the ATEM software that comes with the ATEM. And yes, you can switch, of course, but you can't do all the graphics really easily. So um, what's really neat about this is you can just easily uh, just go in and browse uh, for whatever uh, graphics, you know, add media file, and you can just go in and find whatever pictures, um, you know, lower thirds graphics that you've created, uh, movie clips, whatever may, you, know, you may want to use in your program, you bring them in here. You stick them onto your layer stack, you adjust the, whatever parameters you need to, and then it's really easy to, to put up. Um, for instance, I've got our DVE store logo here. I've got a map to uh, the L button for logo, so I could remember it. And uh, I, at any time during this program, I can be switching around to different cameras, and I can just throw that that logo up. And uh, I can keep, um, I can switch, switch around here, and uh, that logo stays on there at any time. I can just pull it down. So super easy to bring in stuff. Um, I also have uh, another video clip. I've got Megan singing here, and uh, so I'm playing that at any time that I want to and I can fade that out immediately and uh, here's my overhead view again if you want to do some some simple text uh, that you want to bring up um, you can just do that 
at any time and you can adjust the length of the fade or use a different transition to bring it in. Uh, we have one up here in our layer stack, a little animation that comes uh, with Mimo Live, obviously it's, it's advertising uh, them. But uh, that's, so that's pretty cool. You can, you can easily bring in animations with an alpha channel uh, and simply overlay them. So now the cool thing about Mimo Live is it's, it's not just doing graphics, it's not just controlling the ATEM, but um, you can also use it to record your program complete with all the graphics and stream your program at the same time. Uh, if you go over here into the upper corner, you can see that there's a little option here. You can put in a custom R R RTMP server, a custom RTMP server, or uh, you can go in and do Facebook streaming, StreamShark, Twitch, YouTube. Um, those options are available. Now also, if you need to send a program out with all your graphics, then uh, you can do that as well from your MacBook Pro or a Mac Pro, whatever the case may be. Um, so if you have one with uh, two Thunderbolt ports, you can u then use an Ultra Studio Mini Monitor to output uh, the completed program uh, to SDI or HDMI out uh, to whatever monitors or other systems you may need to, to use in your production. So uh, in this case, I didn't set that up because my MacBook Pro is uh, five years old doesn't have the two, uh, two Thunderbolt ports. It's still running well though, so I'm not ready to replace it just yet. So if you, uh, if you go up here and, and you have an output device uh, connected, you will see it in this pull down here and you're able to configure it and uh, get your, your program output as well. So there's a lot of power in here and, and this is really just kind of scratching the surface with, with Mimo Live and what you can do with it. Uh, I think it's a, a fantastic companion uh, for the ATEM switcher and really uh, has a lot of strengths uh, where this is weak and uh, is able to utilize the strengths of the ATEM switcher because you can just plug all your sources in and uh, still access all the ATEM software on your Mac to uh, remote, remotely control your cameras and so forth. But then you just have this wonderful ability to do all your graphics really easily and simply and uh, do all your switching right here in one interface while streaming and or recording as well. So it's a pretty cool system. I'm excited to uh, dig into it a little bit more. And uh, we are a reseller for Mimo Live, just FYI, as well as uh, all the Blackmagic Design products and uh, a lot of other things that you might need for your video productions. So please let me know in the comments below if there's anything uh, that I can do uh, that I can test out for you, any questions I can answer be happy to do so. Uh, happy to write up quotes for um, a simple piece of equipment or an entire uh, system integration. We can certainly do that too. So uh, thanks for watching. I hope this is helpful and I hope you're excited about Mimo Live as well because uh, I just think it's a very cool system.